In this video, I'm going to discuss some upcoming NFT projects I am watching very closely and I'm quite bullish on as well. They do have a lot of hype, so you always have to be careful with that. Um, however, we're going to go into the project uh, a little bit more in terms of details. And also later in this video, I'm going to discuss winners of our most recent Super C software giveaway, which I had announced in the previous video as well. So the first one we're going to go through is toys. Now, mint date, you can see here is very clear. It's April the 15th. So it's coming up in a few days. And I really like the artwork in this one. So if you click here on media and you can see the theme here is very clear. It's all favorite activities and games from your childhood. Um, and I've not really seen artwork like this. So whenever I see anything a little bit more unique, especially when it comes to just PFPs, um, I'm always uh, keeping an eye on that and exactly how they're going to do rather than no another derivative project, if that makes sense. So if there's something new in the particular space, uh, I'm always in general adding extra weight to that. And as you can see at the moment, their Discord's closed. We're actually speaking to their team as well to see if we can secure uh, some spots on their Discord or even maybe whitelist spots as well for our members. And also from the profile, you've got uh, Theo here, so 3D artist. And if you scroll further down, you'll see uh, you get a, a better idea of the artwork as well on this particular collection. When you click on the website, you'll see it's not even ready yet. Now, there's, there's a few reasons for this, but sometimes the main websites for a lot of collections nowadays, as I've mentioned in previous videos, it is actually on Twitter. And the reason sometimes the, the final website is not live is it's kind of the last thing you do when it comes up to a launch, because this is where they'll be minting from. So there'll be a specific minting page likely on this website as well, but it's not as important, especially if on Twitter and on their Discord as well, they're going through a lot of the roadmap at the moment. And sometimes people do it for hype as well. So they only slowly release things and that's why they keep Discords closed. So it doesn't necessarily mean uh, anything is good or bad in particular. However, I do hope there's no delays with this. I don't like it when um, uh, launches are delayed because they're rushing to sort out things. If there's a genuine issue that's going on and they have to kind of sort it out, then that's fine. But if there are delays just because they're rushing our work or rushing other things, that's usually not a good sign. So just be aware of that. Uh, another one I'm looking at very closely is 88 Dynasty. We did manage to secure whitelist uh, spots for this for our private Discord members, our Wizard Pass holders. And this one I'm looking at in particular, again, it's basically the artwork that I'm very intrigued about. And they've also managed to grow organically here on Twitter uh, very well. And I think they're over 100,000 um, uh, subscribers now. Well, Twitter followers anyway. And when you think back at kind of Karafuru and all of the other anime art as well, this, again, you would say is kind of in that same meta, but it's a little bit more unique in terms of design. So keep an eye out for this one as well. It's another one potentially that could do really well. And let's move on to our next upcoming NFT project. And just before I discuss that, I wanted to go through the uh, giveaway we did for Super C for our YouTube subscribers and those who had commented on the last video. So there were 454 unique comments on that particular video. And let's start the raffle now. And the first winner is Ethan Strainer. And let's pick a second winner as well. So the second winner is going to be Arjun Meta. If you can both reach out to us on admin at chartingwizards.com and we will explain to you the next steps and we will get you set up on Super C. And don't forget, I run regular competitions like this. Make sure you're subscribed, turn the notification bell on and you'll get notified of new videos where we run competitions like this, especially when it comes to NFT software. Next project I wanted to discuss was Phantom Network. Now, I was one of the earliest members of um, Project Nanopass, so basically Nanoverse. And you can see the particular NFT here, the floor price at the moment is over four ETH. I actually had three of these uh, way back uh, a few months ago. And the benefits were, one of the benefits were every single week they would do a black box, as you can see here. So they would release, for example, whitelist spots in the black box, sometimes even free NFTs. Those kind of benefits kind of diminished week by week. Uh, because obviously it's, uh, especially when you're giving away things like free NFTs and uh, and stuff like that, it's a lot of cost in terms of the community uh, vault. But apart from that, there was some very, very good early alpha as well uh, in that particular community. Um, and that was one of the other things uh, I really liked. Now the, the same founders and team are working on this new project. There is a massive amount of hype around this project. They've done some really, really good collabs 
uh, we're, we're trying to speak to them at the moment as well uh, regards to a collab now how they will do how they will perform i think it depends on a lot of the tokenomics as well you can't ignore that when it comes to uh, projects like this it will depend on the mint price the collection size as well and exactly what they're releasing in terms of their roadmap i am uh, a member of their discord already and I know they're trying to keep things very, very mysterious as well, which I think is really cool. Personally, I add a lot more weight to people who have already um, released a collection before. They now they know how the NFT world works and it's a successful project. As you can see, this one with uh, 5,555 doing very, very well. Um, although for a while, it's like that with any new collection, even our own. For a while, I think for them, for Project Nanopass, for about a month or two, uh, the floor price wasn't doing anything. It was actually dipping and it went all the way down to, I think, point, probably lows were 0.6 or something like that. But that's normal. The hype kind of dies off after a new project launch and then you have to get to work. And that's where you have to build. Um, you have to focus very much on uh, utility as well, looking after all of your community members and keep on adding value. And the reason this has boosted so much recently is obviously because of the connection with the new project as well. So I'm always bullish on people who have already shown that they know what they're doing in the NFT space. So that's it for this one. Please comment below if you're looking at any other big uh, projects and I'll try my best to do a review on those as well. Thanks for listening.